Hey everybody, welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today we're continuing our deep dive into the world of psychoactive plants with a fascinating and powerful brew known as ayahuasca. This ancient plant medicine has been used for centuries by indigenous tribes in the Amazon for spiritual and healing purposes. If you've ever wondered about the mystical world of ayahuasca, what it is, how it works, and the experiences it brings, then you're in the right place. So let's get started. Ayahuasca is a powerful psychoactive brew made from the combination of two primary plants, Banisteriopsis copy and Psychoetry viridis. The former is a vine that contains Harmala alkaloids, which are MAO inhibitors, while the latter is a shrub that contains DMT, a potent psychedelic compound. Together, these plants create a brew that is known for its profound effects on the consciousness, often leading to deep personal insights, spiritual revelations, and intense emotional experiences. Ayahuasca isn't just one plant, but a combination that creates a synergistic effect. The vine is sometimes referred to as the soul of the brew because it allows the DMT and the psychoetry viridis to be orally effective. Without the MAO inhibiting properties of the vine, the DMT would be quickly broken down in the digestive system, rendering it ineffective. Other plants may sometimes be added to the brew, depending on the tradition and the desired effects, but these two are the essential components. Ayahuasca has a long and rich history in South America, particularly among indigenous tribes in the Amazon basin. The name Ayahuasca comes from the Quechua language, meaning vine of the soul, or vine of the dead, highlighting its deep spiritual significance. Traditionally, it has been used in shamanic rituals for healing, divination, and communication within the spirit world. Over the past few decades, ayahuasca has gained popularity outside of the Amazon, with people traveling from around the world to participate in ceremonies led by shamans. The primary active compounds in ayahuasca are DMT and harmola alkaloids. DMT is a powerful psychedelic that induces intense visual and auditory hallucinations, often described as otherworldly or mystical experiences. The harmala alkaloids in the vine, such as harmine, harmaline, and tetrahydroharmine, are MAO inhibitors that allow DMT to be orally active and also contribute to the overall experience by prolonging and intensifying the effects. The mechanism of action in ayahuasca is a fascinating and complex. When you ingest the brew, the harmala alkaloids inhibit the enzyme MAO in your gut, which normally breaks down DMT. This inhibition allows the DMT to enter the bloodstream and cross the blood-brain barrier when it binds to the serotonin receptors, particularly the 5-HT2A receptor, leading to profound psychoactive effects. The result is a multi-hour journey that can include vivid hallucinations, emotional breakthroughs, and spiritual insights. Ayahuasca is primarily used in a ceremonial or religious context, often under the guidance of shaman or an experienced felicitator. It's considered a powerful tool for healing trauma, gaining spiritual insight, and personal growth. Recent scientific research has begun to explore its potential therapeutic benefits, including its use in treating depression, PTSD and addiction. While early results are promising, ayahuasca remains a potent and unpredictable substance and more research is needed to fully understand its therapeutic potential and risk. The ayahuasca experience is highly individual and can vary greatly depending on factors like the dosage, the settings, the mental and emotional state of the participant, and the skill of the facilitator. Common effects include intense visual and auditory hallucinations, a sense of connection to the universe or the divine, and profound emotional releases. Some people report experiencing life-changing insights, while others may go through challenging periods of psychological or physical discomfort, often describing a purge. While ayahuasca is revered for its potential benefits, it's not without its risks. Side effects can include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, increased heart rate, and psychological distress. These effects are often seen as part of the cleansing or healing process in traditional settings, but they can be intense and overwhelming for some participants. Legally, ayahuasca occupies a gray area in many parts of the world. In some countries, it's illegal due to the presence of DMT, while in others, it's protected under religious freedom laws. Ethically, there are concerns about their 
commercialization of ayahuasca and the potential exploitation of indigenous knowledge and traditions. Ayahuasca is not for everyone and there are significant risks, particularly for individuals with certain medical conditions or mental health issues. The brew can interact dangerously with other medications, particularly antidepressants and other substances that affect serotonin levels. There's also the risk of psychological distress, particularly in those with a history of mental health issues. It's crucial to approach ayahuasca with respect, preparation, and the guidance of an experienced facilitator. There have been numerous case studies and anecdotal reports of ayahuasca's transformative effects on individuals struggling with depression, addiction, and trauma. Some research studies have shown promising results, particularly in treating conditions that are resistant to conventional treatments. As interest in ayahuasca grows, so does the potential for further research and therapeutic applications. However, it's essential to balance the excitement with caution and deep respect for the cultural and spiritual traditions from which ayahuasca originates. That's it for our deep dive into ayahuasca, one of the most powerful and mysterious psychoactive plants in the world. Whether you're intrigued by its spiritual significance and its potential therapeutic benefits or simply curious about its effects, ayahuasca offers a journey unlike any other. Remember that this is not a substance to be taken lightly. It requires careful consideration, respect, and guidance. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more explorations into the world of psychoactive plants. Thanks for joining, and we'll see you in the next episode.